table of contents. Tour the cruise ports, Ephesus. Dr. Sidney Socloff. Dr. Sidney at Earthlink.net. 2021. This is the flag of Turkey. Turkey is known officially as the Republic of Turkey. Where is Turkey? Here is Turkey in the Eastern Mediterranean. The lands of Turkey are located at a point where the three continents make up the Old World. Asia, Africa and Europe are closest to each other. And straddle the point where Europe and Asia meet? Turkey is a Eurasian country that stretches across the Anatolian Peninsula, also known as Asia Minor, in Western Asia and Thrace in the Balkan region of Southeastern Europe. The total population of Turkey is 75 million. The territory of Turkey is more than 1,600 kilometers, 1,000 miles, long and 800 kilometers, 500 miles, wide with a roughly rectangular shape. Turkey is about the size of France and the United Kingdom combined. Three seas encircle Turkey on three sides, the Aegean Sea to the west, the Black Sea to the north, and the Mediterranean Sea to the south. Turkey also contains the Sea of Marmara in the northwest. Major cities of Turkey are Istanbul, 9 million. The capital, Ankara, at 3.5 million. Izmir, 2.7 million. Bursa, 1.6 million. And Adana, at 1.3 million. In the eastern part of Turkey are the high Taurus Mountains, with Mount Ararat as the highest peak at 5,165 meters or 17,000 feet. M.T. Ararat is said to be where Noah's Ark came to rest after the Great Flood, as described in the Bible. Here is Izmir on the Aegean coast of Turkey, about 250 miles south of Istanbul. The ruins of the ancient city of Ephesus are about 50 miles south of Izmir. This shows the location of Ephesus and major cities of Turkey. Istanbul straddles two continents at the Bosphorus. Here is the region in northwestern Turkey showing the narrow straits of the Dardanelles and the Bosphorus. Here we see the Bosphorus between the European and Asian sides of Istanbul. The entire region around Istanbul is comprised of the Dardanelles, the Sea of Marmara, the Bosphorus, and the Black Sea. Here is the Bosphorus and the two continents, Europe and Asia. What time is it in Turkey? Let's take a look at the time zones in Europe. We see that the Mediterranean Sea spans three time zones in the western end Spain is GMT plus one. But across the Strait of Gibraltar, Morocco is on GMT. From Spain through France, Italy and the Balkans it is GMT plus one. At the eastern end, Greece and Turkey are GMT plus two, and Russia is GMT plus three. Ephesus is one of the most fascinating archaeological sites in the world in antiquity. It was a large port and trading center at the crossroads of important trade routes, such as the Kind Road and the Silk Road. Ephesus was also an important center of early Christianity. Ephesus in the Turkish language is Ephes. Ephesus was an Ionian Greek city on the west coast of ancient Anatolia. Founded by colonists from Athens in the 10th century BC. We see here the region called Ionia settled by the Greeks in the 13th century BC.
Ephesus is the best preserved classical city of the Eastern Mediterranean. This map shows major Greek cities of Ionia. Here is Ephesus in relation to cities in modern Turkey. Originally Ephesus was a harbor city, but due to the silting of the river estuary over the centuries, the site is now a distance of about 3 miles or 5 kilometers from the sea. This is a view of the region around Ephesus, showing the nearby city of Selsuk, only 2 kilometers or 1 mile away, and the cruise port of Cusatasi. Ephesus was located in Ionia, where the Caister River flows into the Aegean Sea. Ephesus, which was once a seaport, is now six miles away from the sea. Ephesus was the most important Greek city in Ionian Asia Minor and was noted for the magnificent Temple of Artemis or Diana, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. By the second century, Ephesus was home to 300,000 people, and a major center of trade. Ephesus sits on the west coast of Asia Minor, modern Turkey, almost directly across the Aegean Sea from Athens and Corinth. Ephesus was one of the 12 cities of the Ionian League allied with Athens. Here are the cities of the Ionian League in ancient times and before the time of the Ottoman Turks, Izmir was known as Smyrna. Ephesus was near the mouth of the Caister River. The city provided a sheltered harbor, a reliable water source, and easy access to the interior. So it became a major trading port. Nearby is the Meander River, from which we get the word meander from the twisting course of the river. Scholars believe that Ephesus was founded on the Hittite settlement of Apisa, a Bronze Age city noted in 14th century BC sources as the capital of a Hittite kingdom. Ephesus, along with Smyrna, now Izmir, Troy, Sardis, and Miletus were major cities in ancient Lydia in the 6th century BC. Ancient inhabitants of Turkey were among the world's first agriculturalists. Such civilizations as the Hittite, Phrygian, and Lydian flourished in Asiatic Turkey, Asia Minor, as did the Persian Empire and much of Greek civilization. Alexander the Great conquered the region in 334 BC. Ephesus became part of the Hellenistic world after the death of Alexander the Great. Beginning in the Roman Republic, Ephesus was the capital of province of Asia, which covered the western part of Asia Minor. In the Roman period, Ephesus was for many years the second largest city of the Roman Empire, ranking only behind Rome, the empire's capital. The population of Ephesus has been estimated to be in the range of 400,000 to 500,000 inhabitants in the year 100 AD, making it the largest city in Roman Asia and the second largest city in the entire world. This shows the Aegean region of Turkey in Ephesus. This map shows the Roman province of Asia. Ephesus was an important center for early Christianity. St. Paul the Apostle, who was born in Tarsus in the southeast of Turkey, gave lectures in the Deranus Hall and the synagogue in Ephesus for two years during his third missionary journey. Paul used Ephesus as a base for his missionary journeys. Later Paul wrote to the Christian community in Ephesus in his letters to the Ephesians. Paul became embroiled in a dispute with artisans, whose livelihood depended on the Temple of Artemis, as described in Acts 19, and wrote 1 Corinthians from Ephesus. The apostle and evangelist John lived in Asia Minor, in Atolia, in the last decades of the first century. 
and from Ephesus guided the churches of that province. After the Emperor Domitian's death, St. John returned to Ephesus during the reign of Trajan, and he died at Ephesus around 180. Ephesus hosted one of the seven churches of Asia, as mentioned in the book of Revelation. Jesus instructs his servant John to write in a book what thou seest, and send it up to the seven churches which are in Asia, up to Ephesus, and up to Smyrna, and up to Pergamos, and up to Thyatira, and up to Sardis, and up to Philadelphia, and up to Laodicea. Revelation 1.11 This is a painting of visions of John of Patmos as depicted in the Tre Riche Hures du Duc de Berry. The church in Ephesus was still important enough to early Christians to be addressed by a letter written by Bishop Ignatius of Antioch to the Ephesians in the early 2nd century AD, that begins with Ignatius, who is also called Theophorus, to the church which is at Ephesus, in Asia. After the fall of Rome in the 5th century, Constantinople, now Istanbul, was the capital of the Byzantine, or Eastern Roman Empire, for 1,000 years. Although sacked by the Goths in 263 AD, Ephesus remained the most important city of the Byzantine Empire after Constantinople, in the 5th and 6th centuries. Stackings by the Arabs in the year 707-16 spurred a quick decline. Ephesus was largely abandoned when the harbor completely filled in with silt from the Kaster River, today, Kuchik Mandures, despite repeated dredges during the city's history. Today, the harbor is 5 kilometers inland. The loss of its harbor caused Ephesus to lose its access to the Aegean Sea, which was important for trade. When the Seljuk Turks conquered Ephesus in 1090, it was a small village. The Byzantines resumed control in year 1100, and kept control of the region until the end of the 13th century. After a short period of flourishing under the new rulers, it was abandoned in the 15th century, and lost her former glory. Constantinople, now Istanbul, fell to Ottoman Turks in 1453, who then ruled a vast empire for over 400 years. Just before World War I, Turkey, or the Ottoman Empire, ruled what is now Syria, Lebanon, Iraq. Jordan, Israel, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, and islands in the Aegean Sea. Under Selim and the Magnificent, the region became thriving and sophisticated and a huge trading center. Despite its frequent earthquakes, it was cosmopolitan, with Greek Orthodox, Jews and Muslims, and many languages spoken amongst locals and visiting traders. Turkey joined Germany and Austria in World War I, and its defeat resulted in the loss of much territory in the fall of the Sultanate. Following World War I and the defeat of the Ottoman Empire, Greece was granted a mandate over Izmir and entered the area. This occupation of Smyrna came against the resistance of nationalists led by Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. This resulted in a three-day bloody battle, during which 70% of the city was burned to the ground and thousands were killed. The beaten Greeks eventually left on the waiting ships. Ataturk formally took Izmir on September 9, 1922 which is celebrated as the Day of Victory in Izmir. A republic in Turkey was declared in 1923, with Mustafa Kemal, later called Kemal Ataturk, as its first president. Ataturk led Turkey until his death in 1938.
Turkey kept neutral during most of World War II. The country became a full member of NATO in 1952 and has remained a Western ally. Excavation work in Ephesus started about 130 years ago. And this will go on for many more years, together with restoration works. Here are the excavations in Ephesus. The Temple of Artemis is known as one of the seven wonders of the ancient world and was the largest building of the ancient world. The Temple of Artemis was built in Ephesus on a flat area, which over the centuries has turned into a swamp. The seven wonders of the ancient world are on the list made by the Greeks and Romans of particularly remarkable, man-made structures. The structures were included on this list because of their great size or other unusual characteristics. This is an artist's conception of the Temple of Artemis. This is a quotation from Philon of Byzantium, a contemporary who viewed these wonders, and wrote this at that time. I have seen the walls and hanging gardens of ancient Babylon, the statue of Olympian Zeus, the Colossus of Rhodes, the mighty work of the High Pyramids and the Tomb of Mausolus. But when I saw the temple at Ephesus rising to the clouds, all these other wonders were put in the shade. The Temple of Artemis was a 120-year project started by Croesus of Lydia and completed around 550 BC. It was described by Antipater of Sidon, who compiled a list of the seven wonders of the world. The columns of Artemis were 100 feet or 30 meters high. The Artemis Temple covered an area of 125 meters by 60 meters, as big as a football or soccer field. A mob was incited by St. John Chrysostom to destroy the temple because it was a pagan temple. Scarcely a trace now remains of the Temple of Artemis. The statue of the many-breasted Artemis also known as Diana of the Ephesians, was the symbol of the temple, but also of abundance, hunting and wildlife. The genuine statue of Artemis, removed during the fire, is today exhibited in the Celsuc Museum in Athens. The Ruins of Ephesus This is a map of the entrance to Ephesus. The first site of the ruins of ancient Ephesus. This is an historical map of Ephesus. From Meyer's Conversation Slurry Con, 1888. Ephesus is a vast site, and despite not yet being fully excavated, the ruins that are visible give some idea of the city's original splendor. The names associated with the ruins are evocative of its former life. Here are the locations of some of the important ruins of Ephesus. This is an aerial view of Ephesus. This is an aerial view of the Agora and Theater area of Ephesus. This is an aerial view of the theater area of Ephesus. This is another map showing the layout of Ephesus. The huge Roman, or great theater of Ephesus dominates the view down Harbor Street, which leads to the long silted up harbor. This is an aerial view of the area. This is a detailed view of the area near the theater. This is the mine street of Ephesus. Now a look at the Arcadian street.
the Arcadian Street, from the theater to the harbor, was constructed in the Hellenistic period, but then was restored during the reign of the Emperor Arcadius, 395-408 AD, from whom it takes its present name. This is a map of the region of the Arcadian Way. This is a map of the region of the Arcadian Way near the theater. The Arcadian Street is 1740 feet, or 530 meters long and 36 feet, or 11 meters wide. On both sides of the street there were shops and galleries, and gates in the form of monumental arches. At the center of the Arcadian Street, there is a four-column structure. This was constructed in the 6th century AD. Because of its extension to the harbor, the Arcadian Street is also called the Harbor Street. The Agora is a market and business area. This is the Agora, or central marketplace of Ephesus. The Agora was built in the 3rd century BC in the Hellenistic period. But the ruins date from the reign of Caracalla, 211 to 217 AD. The Agora of Ephesus is in the form of a square, each side 110 meters, and surrounded completely by columns. The Agora has three gates, one from the front of the theater on the northeast, the other one opening to the harbor on the west, and the third one from the Celsus Library. The north side of the Agora was left open, and the other three sides were surrounded by a portico, in which there were rows of shops. At the center of the Agora was a sundial and a water clock. The Roman Theater The original city of Ephesus was located on low ground, and was completely flooded by the sea. The city was distinguished for the Temple of Artemis, the Library of Celsus, and for its Roman theater. The Roman theater at Ephesus was used initially for drama, but during later Roman times gladiatorial combats were also held on its stage. This is the Roman theater at Ephesus, capable of holding 25,000 spectators. This is the Roman theater at Ephesus. This is the Roman theater at Ephesus. This is the Roman theater at Ephesus. The Celsus Library in Ephesus was the third largest library in the ancient world after Alexandria and Pergamum. The Library of Celsus was built for Tiberius Julius Celsus Polymenus and completed in Ephesus in 135 AD. This shows the location of the Celsus Library. This is the view looking down Curate Street to the Celsus Library. Celsus' son, Gaius Julius Aquila, who was consul in AD 110, built the library in honor of his father. His father was consul in AD 92, former governor of Asia in AD 115, and a wealthy and popular local citizen. The library was built to store 12,000 scrolls and to serve as a monumental tomb for Celsus. It was unusual to be buried within a library, or even within city limits, so this was a special honor for Celsus. The Celsus Library was designed with an exaggerated entrance, so as to enhance its perceived size. It faces east so that the reading rooms could make best use of the morning light. The Celsus Library is one of the few remaining examples of an ancient Roman-influenced library. It also shows how public libraries were not only built in Rome itself, but also all throughout the empire. After a massive restoration project, 
which is considered to be very true to the historical building. The front facade of the building was rebuilt, and now serves as a prime example of Roman architecture, on public buildings. Curate Street is a small portion of the Sacred Way, running between the Celsus Library and the Hercules Gate. It took its name from the class of priests, referred to as curettes in long lists found in the clerical school of priests. Colonnaded galleries with mosaics on the floor were located on both sides of the street, with a roof to protect the pedestrians from sun or rain. The Hercules Gate is located at towards the end of the Curie's Street. It was called that because of the relief of Hercules on it. The gate was brought from another location in the 4th century AD to its current place, but the relief on it dates back to the 2nd century AD. This is the gate decorated with reliefs of Heracles built during the 4th century AD. Hadrian's Temple Hadrian's Temple is one of the best preserved and most beautiful structures on Curie's Street. This shows the location of Hadrian's Temple. This is the Temple of Hadrian, built between 117 and 138 AD. This is the Temple of Hadrian. Hadrian's temple was dedicated to the Emperor Hadrian, who came to visit the city from Athens in 128 AD. The facade of the temple has four Corinthian columns supporting a curved arch, in the middle of which contains a relief of Tyche, goddess of victory. Ephesus had one of the most advanced aqueduct systems in the ancient world, with multiple aqueducts of various sizes to supply different areas of the city, including four major aqueducts. This aqueduct, which brought water to Ephesus, was constructed between 7 AD and 15 AD, on orders by Sextilius Pollio. Ephesus also had several major bath complexes, built at various points while the city was under Roman rule. The Baths of Various dates to the Roman period. The construction dates to the 2nd century AD, and the mosaics in the 40 meters long corridor dates to the 5th century. This shows the location of the Baths of Various. The baths are built of cut blocks of marble. It had three sections. Frigidarium, cold water. Temperdarium, warm water. And caldarium, hot water. St. John's Basilica was built in the 6th century AD under Emperor Justinian I over the supposed site of the Apostles' tomb. It is now surrounded by a Turkish town. Selsuk. The basilica with two rows of columns was a trade center during the Roman Empire where commerce occurred. The Odeon built in the 2nd century AD was a place of government. The Odeon was used for poetry readings, small concerts and prize-giving ceremonies. Built into the slope of the hill, it could seat 2,200 people. House of the Virgin Mary The House of the Virgin Mary, Turkish, Maryam Anna, meaning Mother Mary, is about 6 miles, or 9 kilometers from Ephesus, and is believed to have been the last home of Mary, Mother of Jesus. Mary may have come in the area together with St. John, who spent several years there to spread Christianity. It is thought that Mary preferred this remote area rather than living in a more crowded place. This is a popular place of pilgrimage which has been visited by three recent popes. 
The Church of Mary was the setting for the Third Ecumenical Council in 431, which resulted in the condemnation of Nestorius. The church is located in the south stoa of the Olympian, Temple of Hadrian Olympius, next to the harbor of Ephesus. Pope Benedict XVI celebrated Mass at the House of the Virgin Mary in Ephesus in 2006, as both Paul VI and John Paul II did before him. This is an image of Ephesus on the reverse of the new 20 lira banknote, 2005 to 2008. Q Q Sadlesi is the cruise port closest to Ephesus and is 12 miles or 19 kilometers away. Here is Ephesus, the port of Q Sadlesi, and the major city of Izmir. This shows in more detail Ephesus and the port of Q Sadlesi. Q Sadlesi has a residential population of 50,000 rising to over half a million during the summer when the large resort fills with tourists from Turkey itself, Northern Europe, and the Balkans. In addition to the visitors from overseas, there is a substantial community of foreigners residing in the Q Sadlesi area. Thirty years ago Q Sadlesi was a sleepy traditional Turkish seaside village, dependent for its living on fish, farming and honey production. Since then, mass tourism has brought wealth. The name of the city, Kusadasi, is derived from the island, Guversinidasi, which means Pigeon Island. This is a satellite view of Kusadasi. This is the cruise port of Kusha de Sea. Here is the Kusadasi cruise port. This is a map of Kusadasi showing principal points of interest. This is a map of the central part of Kusadasi. Kusadasi has built a new cruise terminal that's also a modern mini mall called Skalanwova. In Skalanwova there are western-style shops, but there are also some intriguing Turkish boutiques. Old Kusadasi is to the north along the sharp line and pedestrianized Main Street Barbarous Bulvary. At the top it's near the main market, and the ancient network of narrow streets crammed with bars, restaurants and atmosphere, as well as a hammam, or Turkish bath. The Kalachi Kami, or the Fortress Mosque, was built by the vizier Sadra Samakas Mehmet Pasa in 1618. It is an impressive and monumental mosque with a capacity of 550 worshippers. This shows the location of the Kalachi Kami, or Fortress Mosque. These are the city walls. Only one of the three gates remains today. Izmir Izmir, historically called Smyrna, is the third most populous city of Turkey, and the country's largest port after Istanbul. Izmir is located on the Gulf of Izmir, by the Aegean Sea. Izmir is located on the... This is Izmir and the Gulf of Izmir. Izmir is the capital of Izmir province, and not far from Ephesus. The population of the Izmir urban region is 3.5 million. Once the ancient city of Smyrna, it is now a modern, developed, and busy commercial center, set around a huge bay and surrounded by mountains. The broad boulevards Glass-fronted buildings and modern shopping centers of Izmir are dotted with traditional red-tiled roofs, the 18th-century market, and old mosques and churches. Nevertheless, Izmir has an atmosphere more of Mediterranean Europe than of traditional Turkey. 
The history of Izmir stretches back to around 3000 BC when the Trojans founded the city. This was the birthplace of Homer, who was thought to have lived here around the 8th century BC. This is the Izmir Seafront. The Izmir clock tower was erected by the Grand Vizier Kukuk Said Pasha in 1901 to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Abdulhamid, the second's accession to the throne. The clock itself was presented by the German Emperor Wilhelm II. The Izmir clock tower is 75 feet, or 25 meters in height. This is the Izmir clock tower. This is a view of Izmir. St. Polycarp Church is used by the Catholic minority both as a place of worship and a place of pilgrimage. The present building dates from around 1690. St. Polycarp was one of the disciples of the evangelist St. John. He arrived in Izmir in 80 AD and was crucified and burned by the Romans for his dissemination of Christianity, and a white dove is said to have flown up into the sky from the spot where he died. The old Nyam Palace Hotel was converted into a museum, and opened to the public in 1940. It contains added or his personal belongings, photographs, oil paintings, marble and bronze busts, the Izmir Archaeological Museum contains finds from excavations in various parts of the region, including Ephesus, Pergamum, Miletus, Aphrodisias, Sardis and Iosis. Exhibits in the Izmir Archaeological Museum range in date from 1000 BC to Ottoman times. There are over 10,000 exhibits in all. The Agora of Smyrna is well preserved and is arranged into the Agora Open Air Museum of Izmir, although important parts remain buried under modern buildings. The Agora of Smyrna was built during the Hellenistic era after a destructive earthquake in 178 AD. It was rebuilt in the Roman period in the 2nd century AD under the Emperor Marcus Aurelius. This agora is now the largest and the best preserved among Ionian agoras. The Smyrna agora was used until the Byzantine period. This is Adler Street in the historic Asmane neighborhood of Izmir. The form Bornova shopping center is inspired by the traditional architecture of Izmir. These are typical residential buildings of the Karziyaka neighborhood of Izmir. These are streets of the historic Alsankak neighborhood of Izmir. This is the historic Alsankak neighborhood in Izmir. This is the Adnan Menderes International Airport at Izmir. This is the Hakapunar station of the Izmir subway. Recommended video, Ephesus, Turkey, Ancient City, 4 minutes, 34 seconds. Recommended video, Ephesus, Turkey in 4K Ultra HD, 5 minutes, 25 seconds. Recommended video, Turkey Home, Home of Ephesus, 2 minutes, 20 seconds. Recommended video, Kusha Dizi, Turkey, Cruises and Cuisine. 3 minutes, 23 seconds. Mediterranean links. Table of contents.